Hi, Jurassic Cutie Swinney here. Today we're going to draw a penguin. So let's get started. To draw this cute penguin, let's first start by drawing its eyes. So let's come right here and I'm going to draw a circle. Nice and big. And then I'm going to come right across. Pretty wide, so say about right here. And draw another circle. So enough space in between for a beat. So now that I have my two circles in, since I have enough room, I'm going to make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. If you don't have enough room, you can just put one highlight and then shade everything else in. And then lines at the bottom and same thing over here. Just with the drastic cute eyes, you get to put some color in the penguin's eye, which is nice, right? There, so now that the eye's in, let's come in between these eyes and we we'll draw the beak. So right here in the center, it's gonna draw a soft curve. Goes right across, right in the center, round off the corner. And I'm just going to soft curve towards the center and then back up a little beak. And then from there, we're going to start to draw the, um, the head. So let's come back to this beak area and we're going to go around our eye. Nice and high. Come around and down. So it's the same thing here. You're going to go around and around our eye. So same thing like the other side, but right there. So we have our two curves in. And then from there, let's bring this down a bit more to say about right here. So I just wanna bring this in to the same level on the other side. Now that I have these two curves in, let's come back to here. So now that I'm stopping right here, I'm gonna come out a little bit. So say about right here, I'm gonna give myself a point. And from there, I'm just gonna follow my curve, come out, I'm gonna draw the big penguin head. So same thing here, come out a little bit, tapering in, and then we're gonna go around. So let's bring it nice and high, about right here. And then about right here, I'm gonna to stop to draw a little tough of hair right here just to make it extra cute and then bring it right back down. Nice big curve. There, you got a big penguin head in. And so then now that we have that in, let's come back to right here and I'm going to start to draw the body. So let's pop it out a little bit and same thing here. There, so let's bring this around. And about right here, I'll come in and connect. There, and then let's continue this. And we're just gonna go around following and maybe slightly thinner towards this bottom part and connect. From there, let's draw the flipper. So right here in this corner area, I'm gonna come out, curve, and then just bring it right back in. Nice and simple. Same thing over here. Round off and bring in. And then for the feet, right here on the sides, we're just gonna pop out these three curves. So very simple and basic penguin. <laughs> nothing, nothing fancy. There. And of course, let's put a heart right here for our penguin to make it my draw. So cute penguin. And that, oh, right here, forgot. That over the eye, let's just draw a soft curve. There. So that is basically it for our penguin. But I thought it'd be really nice um, to add scenery uh, for our penguin here. So if you wanna do that, let's um, put our penguin on a piece of ice, like an iceberg right here. So let's come about right here. Just give our penguin a home. And I'm just basically going to draw this piece of ice. So I'm just aiming for kind of like an ovalish shape. It doesn't really matter. It's all up to you. There's no wrong way <laughs> to draw your piece of ice. I'm just gonna go around 
and connect. So something like that. And then to thicken it up, as we're doing this down, I'm going to slightly angle it in a little bit. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to basically follow what I did to go all the way around to thicken up my piece of ice right here. And connect. So now our penguin is... has a little place to stand on. And then let's, um, let's see here. Let's give it more of a background. Let's come about, about right here. I'm gonna go right across with a straight line. So about right here and then pop it right back out. About that much. And then let's draw some uh, glaciers. So, like drawing a mountain basically that's what it is right so ice mountain so let's go up and I'm gonna start to come down and once again draw so cuties it doesn't matter how you draw your um, glacier it's all up to you but I really hope this inspires you and I'll draw another one here maybe slightly flatter one come down and go across again and down and I think I'll break it up right here with a smaller one so let's come about right here and down and connect so just giving it different levels and I'll bring this out just a tiny bit more this line right here so it doesn't feel so claustrophobic <laughs> Okay, so then now that I have that, maybe we could add another piece right here. So just a small one popping out just to break up this space right here. Add a little line to give it some dimension. And I thought it'd be really cute. Um, let's add a seal right here. If you want to do that, let's just go ahead. We're going to draw like a big nose right here so just an oval and I'll show you that in and then come straight down with a line and I curve it out so very simple seal and right here we're going to draw a circle for the eyes and then we're going to come around so say about right here I'm just going to Draw this dome shape on top. Good. Little eyes, a little curve on top. And then right here, now that I have this, and they're basically same level, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a curve all the way around. From there, let's give our seal here some whiskers. So I'll come right here, just draw two whiskers very lightly. And let's put some more ripples around our seal. So we're just going to draw in an ovalish shape. It's curves to make it look like our seal is just popping its head out of the water. There. And then we can do that too with this um, piece of ice that the penguin is sitting um, on, standing on. So let's just, if you want to do that, you can just come around here. We're just basically going to draw an oval around so same thing here there so hopefully that makes it look <laughs> believable that it's in the water and that is oh almost forgot let's add some birds right just to bring in more life right here so just flick out it's two curves just to add your birds and maybe in the background they can be even tinier the foreground they can be a bit bigger there oh one more 
there. <laughs> so hopefully that looks like a bunch of birds. And we've given our penguin a nice little home to live in, in the Antarctica. And I really hope you love this cute penguin and the Antarctica landscape. And I helped you draw it nice and easy. Thanks so much for watching. And if this inspired you and you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.